Hey guys, welcome back to Dean's Sanctuary today for another alcoholic beverage review. Today I've got another cider to try. I think I've done one already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. It's called Castaway. Sweet cider, apparently. It's an apple cider. Miles away from the everyday, it says. I've never actually heard of them before. One of the cheaper, excuse me, um, bottles I picked up. Um, well, I picked up the six-pack range of varieties, I should say, of um, cider, so I thought I'll give it a try and see what we get. So, yeah, comes in a pretty plain-looking bottle. The packet came in, had like an island, uh, tropical, like an island bounty type of view in the background. But I, I threw that out, I pulled, pulled these out, put them in the fridge. But anyway, yeah, that's the bottle. Pretty plain-looking design. I like the green, but, yeah, there's not much to it, really. It says it up the top there, around the neck. No, just a label on the back. No, just a plain standard silver lid. Yeah, you probably can't make it out much, but it says cast away on it, so yeah. Yeah, there's not much to say really about these really, that has got no writing or anything on it. Like I said, it's slogans miles away from heaven. <laughs> Sorry, every day, miles away from the every day. Castaway Sweet Cider. I'll just read what it says on the back quickly. Apparently crafted in Western Australia. Yeah, it's Australian drink by the way, guys, um, from WA. Crafted in Western Australia, Castaway Sweet Boy is a light sparkling gold. His enticingly fruity aroma gives away gives way to a perfectly balanced Moorish sweetness. Best served over rice. Add a slice of lemon for a refreshing citrus bite. And it's five percent alcohol. So it's just good, it's an average strength. 330 ml bottle, guys, but yeah. Well, anyway, I'll get into it and open it up and see what we get. Pretty dry taste, real citrusy, but pretty dry. Taste, sorry, smell, nose. Anyway, guys, yeah, I might just quickly. Sorry, guys, we'll see. Sorry, guys, just gave a glass a bit of a wash out there. Get a bit of dust in here, so I'm always a bit paranoid checking. You don't want to swallow clumps of hairs or dust or anything. Anyway, guys, yeah, that's the liquid. It's a little bubbly there, not too much, just average. Pretty, you know, light, thick head. Oh, thick, sorry, light, light foam head. Yeah, it actually almost has that real um, dry aroma, pretty, pretty much like the um, champagne I um, reviewed there two days ago. It's actually got a very similar aroma to it. Real citrusy and um, light and citrusy. Which is, uh, this is apple, by the way, guys, of course. Probably more. Come on, more. Sorry guys, a bit of an interruption there. Sorry about that, guys, anyway. Um, yeah. It's not too bad. You, definitely, you can definitely taste the apple in it. Just got a few notes about it, guys. I might as well read out. Yeah, I paid $14 for a six-pack, so it was actually quite cheap. Of course, it's a side of a brand's cast away. It's an apple side, of course. Um, said everything else about it. 
Yeah, it's actually rated pretty good for value for money, guys, as well. It's enjoyment and value for money is quite high. So even just for those two points, it's worth checking out. Yeah, it's very light and dry. It's easy going down. There's no harshness. It's got a real strong apple, um, apple flavour um, lingering effect. It, it, it kind of lingers there for a while. It's quite bubbly, but it's not real. Um, it's not very high carbonated or anything. It's actually quite enjoyable. It's actually quite refreshing. It's something you can drink if you're a bit thirsty or something. Funny enough, you kind of forget it's actually alcoholic, like real. It's fizzy, but I wouldn't say too strong or anything. Yeah, from what I've read, guys, it's enjoyed by most stages, really. It's quite popular with the young, with the young people as much as the old people. So it's kind of one of those varied drinks. It's not really popular with a specific age group. No, if you're definitely a cider fan, I'd definitely try this for sure. For a quite, quite cheap drink, it's got quite um, strong, um, high-quality flavours. The apple's really... Um, Really nice. It's not overpowering, but you can definitely taste it. Yeah, I definitely buy this again. I'm not much of a cider fan usually, guys, because it kind of gives me reflux. I remember years ago I decided once with my younger brother about three years back, and I, I couldn't finish it. It was that bad. It was that strong. I couldn't finish it. If I had, I would have been sick, basically, to put it simply. <laughs> so, well, yeah, I'm not a real fan of ciders. They do, they play up a bit on me, but no, this is quite nice. It's definitely enjoyable, and like I said, it's not strong. It actually would be a good served with a um, slice of lemon or something. As it is, I've served it. Well, when I say served it, I drank it today only half cold. I put it in the fridge too late early this morning. Um, later this morning, sorry. So it's kind of only half cold, but it's nice enough. Like it's enjoyable, even just barely, you know, just over room temperature. Yeah, I have to say, guys, for sure, yeah, its main um, attraction would be its, um, its, um, its mildness and high quality flavours, so there's nothing like, uh, there's just nothing harsh about the drink at all. No, it's very easily enjoyed. Yeah, but like I said, I'd definitely buy this again for sure, guys. Not too much else to say about it, really. I'm going to run low on battery power as well. Now, any cider fan would like it, yeah, for sure. There's no, there's no doubt about it. It's really good. It's got high-quality flavours. It's not strong. It's not harsh. It's sweet, but it's barely noticeable. It's more going down. Like, if you're like on the nose, it's, it's that dry and light. You, you can barely, like, it's just more citrusy than anything. But going down you can there's a bit of that lingering there's a real slight lingering sweetness but barely noticeable which i prefer i'm not a fan of really overly sweet drinks i can't stand them really. no anyway guys yeah without saying too much i think that's pretty much i've covered everything Yeah, like I say, without being overly too tarty or um, sweet or um, or bitter as its main attraction, it's really just the perfect balance of everything. So anyway, guys, you don't want to just um, finish the rest of this, I think. Anyway, guys, yeah, that's been the... Um, what is it, the castaway? <laughs> I the name if I say castaway sweet style. No, I definitely try it for sure. I might actually get these again soon. Just to, just to have myself. Castaway sweet cider, apple cider, made in Australia. So anyway, guys, I might get some ciders again soon and try and see what they're like after this good experience. So, I've got more stuff coming up. What have I got? Oh, I've got a premix spot kit coming up. I can't remember brand something. It's like initials. 
it's spilled in. But anyway, I've got that coming up. I'll probably shoot that next. So, so anyway, guys, till then, save. Till then, stay safe, and I'll catch you all next time.